after last time we've added stairs to the game, now we're going to add fences to Minecraft to make our platform here a little bit safer so that we can view out into the distance. Let's see how that's done. Right, and once again, we find ourselves in the mod blocks class, this time to add fences and also fence gates. Now those are two things that are very similar to the stairs in that they require a few more block model files and also the block states is a little bit more complicated than a normal block. What we will do is I will simply copy the Firestone block here just for convenience and we will rename this to amethyst underscore fence, not fence, but fence, there you go. And then also amethyst underscore fence. And then instead of the Firestone block, this is a fence block. The values I'm actually kind of happy with, we'll also copy this over and then this is going to be the amethyst underscore fence underscore gate and then here in the name as well and then this is not a fence block but a fence gate block. Now these were the easy steps now of course comes the JSON files which are a bit more but luckily we can simply copy those from vanilla which will make our lives a lot easier. So once again going down to external libraries and then netminecraft client extra 116.5 or whatever version you are on you can get to the block states JSON files from Minecraft very easily and we will copy the fence and the fence gate JSON and we'll simply drag them up once more and add them to our block states folder right here. Holding control, we can basically copy those over, say yes, we'll add them to git as well. We can right click, refactor, rename and then this is going to be the amethyst fence refactor and then this is and then here amethyst underscore fence gate. If we open them you can see that there are not as complex as the amethyst stairs JSON. As you can see the fence gate is a little more complex than the fence itself. I think that that's totally fine. Now we of course also need to change some things in here. So Minecraft has to change to tutorial mod, replace all those and then the same happens in the amethyst fence gate, replace all and then instead of acacia we will have amethyst replace all and then in the amethyst fence gate the same thing so acacia will be turned to amethyst replace all. What you might already have seen is that there is a fence post and a fence side so two models for the amethyst fence and actually four models for the gate. Luckily for us once again we can simply go down to the external libraries and copy those over. We're just gonna quickly get all of them up here to the block models folder here and then add them. There you go. Now let's quickly just rename them. All right, and there we go. All of them renamed quickly and effectively. This can sometimes be a little bit annoying, especially with those types of blocks. I think that this is all going to be fine. Now, of course, the contents also need to be changed. So let's just open all of the gates first and as you can see up here the parent is always the template fence gate and then we have the gate open and gate wall and gate wall open. But the content here only points to the texture so that's actually going to be very easy to modify so this is simply tutorial mod and then block and this is the amethyst underscore block and then I can basically just copy this control c and then control v control v and control v. The same thing goes for the amethyst fence. We have the inventory, we have the post and we also have the side and as you can see I can also just copy and paste in the amethyst block texture in those as well. Don't forget the item models we can also just drag them up here as well and then we can modify those. We can rename those as well and inside of it of course also a little bit of a modification. So this is amethyst fence inventory and then this is tutorial mod and then not the acacia fence gate but the amethyst fence gate. Don't forget to also add the amethyst fence and the amethyst fence gate to the en json so that you have proper translation there. And then we're basically almost done except for one last thing and that is a new tag. Now that tag doesn't need to be a custom tag. It's actually a tag from Minecraft. So inside of our data folder we have to create a new directory minecraft and then inside of that a new directory tags and then inside of that one blocks and then what we need to do is we need to add the fences.json. So from the inside once again this is the normal tag one so replace false and then we have values which is a list so the brackets and then we have to specify what type of values we want so tutorial mod colon amethyst 
underscore fence. And then we can copy this, the fences JSON, and then also have the fence underscore gates. And then instead of the fence, we have the fence gate in here. Now we need those so that different fences can actually connect to our fence. Now this is normal that in this case, our fence will only connect to non-wooden fences. If we want it to connect to wooden fences, we can actually go down here and take a look at the net Minecraft tags themselves. And you can see it also has the Minecraft wooden fences, which is down here, of course, wooden fences. And there are all of the wooden fences. If you have a wooden fence, then of course you would add it to the wooden fences. That's hopefully pretty obvious. And then it should work as well. But after adding these blocks to our tags, Let's see if it worked. Or we find ourselves in Minecraft once again. And as you can see, the amethyst fence and the amethyst fence gate have been added, both of them. And now, oh, well, press the like button, right? That's that's kind of important. And uh, well, let's see. So if we set them down, as you can clearly see, easily enough, this works totally fine. So that's pretty cool. And then let's add the fence gate as well. And that open and closes just like a normal fence gate. Now if we get some other fences, so the oak fences, for example, as I've mentioned, because they are wooden fences, they do not connect with this, but this is normal behavior. So the nether brick fence also does not connect with wooden fences. So this should not be a surprise to you. If you want this, like I've mentioned, you can also add your custom fence to the wooden fences tag and then it should connect as well. All right, and I guess that would be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new and I will see you in the next one. So yeah.